This week's feast, Rachel's English Trifle from Friends. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Feast of Fiction. In the spirit of Thanksgiving, we are making a recipe from one of the most beloved, best shows on primetime television of all time, Rachel's English Trifle from Friends. Uh, what is it? It's a trifle. It's got all of these layers. First, there's a layer of lady fingers, then a layer of jam, then custard, which I made from scratch. Mm -hmm. Then raspberries, more lady fingers, then beef sautéed with peas and onions, <laughs> then a little bit more custard, and then bananas, and then I just put some whipped cream on top. We all know that this is a joke. This recipe is hilarious, but there are some of you that have requested it, and I'm actually really excited about it because I happen to die over this episode of Friends. That scene is one of my favorite scenes in the entire Friends franchise. What, what was the one right before bananas? So I'm actually really excited to bring this trifle to life. So let's get started. First layer is lady fingers. We cut them in half and line them vertically around the bottom of the bowl. Next, drop strawberry jam in between each of your lady fingers and then make an entire row of jam. Add a heavy layer of custard that, believe it or not, we made from scratch, and then place raspberries on top. Next, you have beef sauteed with peas and onions, then a little bit more custard. Slice bananas, and then just put some whipped cream on top. Okay, everybody, it's trifle time! Guys, isn't it beautiful? I know you guys are asking yourself, only one layer of jam? What's up with that? But really, what's not to like? Custard, good. Jam, good. Beef, good. Well, here we are, everybody. The moment you've all been waiting for. I'm actually going to do the honors on this because, well, I'm the only one here to do the honors, so here we go. So I'm going to make sure I get a really good bite. Oh my God. Here goes nothing. It's not that bad, I guess. It's basically two meals in one. So it's dinner and dessert. The taste of it is very uh, beef with peas and onions. And basically that's all I taste. All right. All right. There you go. the honors. Do it, do it, do it. Yes. Hey, that's good. That's a good bite. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What do we think? There's so many textures. Oh, yeah. It's like a burger with. Mm -mm. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, look, try this. We all. Uh, oh, I just saw that. Oh. I couldn't. <laughs> Oh my god. It's good at first because like you get the whipped cream to drown it out, but once that whipped cream's gone and the meat settles in. Alright, let me let me show you guys how. There you go. Mmm! Mmm! We want to know what you think. Oh, hold on. I want some more meat. What? That's not bad. It's not good. Well, nobody said it was good. No, but it's okay. Yeah, if you get the whipped cream. The custard, the, just put everything all in one. I feel like the meat is supplementary to the banana and the custard. It actually works well. Supplementary? Is that the right word? I don't know. I'm not. A, <laughs> I don't think that's the right I'm not word. A food guy, but it. it I'll this, this thing is 80% good. The results are. It's good. a solid B. It's a solid B. It's 80% good. I'll take it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really enjoyed making this. Again, I love that scene of that show, and obviously you guys do too. Otherwise. We would not have made this because we would not have seen it in the comment section below, but we did. So be sure to leave more comments down there and follow us on social media at Asher Shell, at JF Wong, at Feast of Fiction, and let us know what you want to see us make next. Until next time, hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving and bye-bye.